Hi everyone, Joe Fisher here. If you don't know me, Nostalgia from homebrewtalk.com. I wanted to show everybody how I take a sample from my beer. I see a lot of uh, new brewers saying, how do I take a sample? How do I test my gravity? I'll show you how I do it. I use a product from Firmtech called the Wine Thief. It's soaking in sanitizer here. Bring it up a little closer. It's basically a tube with a one-way check valve at the end. You can hear it rattling around in there. And I've drawn a line on it. And what that line is, is how much liquid it takes to get my hydrometer to properly float in my test jar without hitting the bottom. So what the wine thief is supposed to do is as you put it down into the liquid, the liquid goes into the one-way valve and fills it up. But as you can see, it doesn't fill up high enough. So you have a couple of options. You can take multiple dips, which is one way to do it. I don't like that right. You can stick your mouth on the thing and suck the liquid up, which is what I usually do. But when it's up here, it's a little high. I'm not really tall enough for that. So I'm going to show you a different method that I saw or I read about. It actually works surprisingly well. I'm going to zoom in on this for everybody. So I'll take the airlock off, give everything a quick spritz. This is Star Sand Sanitizer that I have mixed up. Alright, so the first thing I'll do is try to just shake out as much of the sanitizer as I can. It's uh, a no rinse sanitizer, so you can see it's still soaking wet. So now here's the here's the fun part. You just stick the uh, the wine thief in and give it a shake. And how cool is that? So now you just make sure that you grab all the drips so you don't make a mess of your carboy. And now the way the wine thief works is you just press that little tip up against the side of the vessel and it sprays your beer out into your sample jar. You can see my sample jar has taken a bit of a beating over the years, but it still works. And there we go. I'll place my lid, give that a quick shot. Since I'm not racking right now, let's put everybody back. Stay there. Now, take the hydrometer, drop it in, give it a little spin to uh, try to dislodge any bubbles. Get it level to float in the center and you can take your reading. I'm at about 1.00, oh oh, oh oh, let's try that again, 1.008 it looked like. Just about. Let me see if I can get that close enough for you guys at home to see. It's floating right about there. And that's 1.008. And then, the most important part, of course, is sampling your sample. Oh my. This is a chocolate stout. So, I'm checking right now to see if I need any more chocolate. Oh yeah, we're going to rack that off tomorrow. So I hope this helped. Peace.